we are talking about One Health, we talk about uh, the environment, mm -hmm. we talk about the human beings, and we talk about the animals. For the diseases, the way you see them, there is an interaction of those three components. And therefore, we have a responsibility to ensure that there is, we, whatever we do, we, remain, we retain that balance of the environment, of the animals, and the human being. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> there are many diseases. You know, even you do uh, what we say, we have to do meat inspection, even starting from there. Mm -hmm. you don't, you're not supposed to go and eat meat without it being inspected, mm -hmm. because you can get a disease from the animal. Mm -hmm. You can get uh, anthrax from the animal. You can get TB from the animal. You can get left valley fever from the animal. Mm -hmm. You can get a lot of uh, warm uh, diseases from the animal, worms that, uh, that affect the body. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. So, so th this is already known. And the, the feds and the human doctors work very closely with the environmentalists. Again, if you disrupt the environment in a certain way, like, for example, let's say you have a lot of flooding uh, because you did not uh, uh, allow water to move in a certain way. Then you would have mosquitoes, who will grow, which will grow there. Those mosquitoes, you go to, to, to animals, yeah? you pick the virus, the fire fever, and they will pass it to the human, yeah? and they will pass it to the humans. So the environment, we must also take care of it. So now, in this case, you find that uh, these are animals that live in the forest. They, they, the animals have a lot of uh, pathogens within them, but we don't live with the animals, except the domesticated animals. But sometimes we get them and bring them to our markets. Like that is, I think, what happened in that case. They bring them in the market and sell them. And then through that interaction, you interact with the animals so closely, and then it passes this pathogen to you. Even uh, viruses like HIV were also thought to have come from, also thought to have come from the, the animals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the gorillas and the baboons and all these kind of, because people, there are people who eat them. Yeah? So they interacted with them. So we must ensure that we keep a, keep a balance all the time between the environment, between the animals and the human being. It's the way God created it. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. uh, and if you have a disruption of one, or you, you don't allow it, the animals to live the way they are supposed to live, then you go living with them. You are likely also to get disease from them, or also pass into, to them, and they also pass to the other animals. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's what we call one health. Mm -hmm. Everybody must be aware of this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and continuously do research to ensure that we maintain that one health. As one health, mm -hmm. not to isolate human and the animal and the environment mm -hmm. alone. But we must work in an integrated way all the time and we must be conscious of this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm.